the Grand Steeplechase de Paris is next. Uh, this is a three mile and five furlong event. It's a grade one. Uh, at the top we've got Boomerang Amman for Graham Clitterbuck, Bucco, Martin Lidham, Q Card, David Hooley, Geraldo, Darren Thompson, Moral Fact and Obsidian Shard for Leon van Rensburg. The Gold Cup with a Blackburn Steel for David Robertson, Catherine the Great, Paul Rhodes, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Landlock, Craig Beckwith, Lintz, Darren Thompson, Madeline Rose and Manic Monday, Padre Hogan, Pride of America, Paul Rhodes and Take the Long Road for Joshua Sutherland. So 15 of them in, in this final big group one of the season for these gold cup distance horses they're away race a little bit far for one or two of them maybe and a mixture of the horses in this some of the four milers dropped down a couple of furlongs some of the gold cup distance horses moving up a couple of furlongs so it should be a fascinating race as they pass the winning post with two complete circuits off the track and maybe even three depending on which route they take it we've got a different set of an old toy these days to what we used to have and now we've got a part of one of the tracks on it so they're not necessarily running this race on the real track I don't think but anyway Landlark has gone off into his customary lead and gets over that one nicely they're all jumping it well Lintz is the early back marker the rest of them are pretty tightly packed pace doesn't appear to be that strong but Lintz is clear as they get over the second no sorry Landlark is clear Lintz is the one at the back with the gold cup winner, Blackburn Steel. So anyway, the commentator gets his bearings back and it's Landlock. He was five or six lengths clear. Off Padre Gomez, Manic Monday has moved into second. He's also got the horse on the outside, Madeline Rose, which is taking a share off third. We need Dawn of the New Age. Moral factors after that one, then Geraldo. As they get to the third of the 24, they've got to take a really good jump on the horse in second, then Manic Monday. A good length out of the rest of them. Moving we'll themselves into a clear second. And Landlock is over the fourth in front. And this Landlock is uh, no back number for a front runner. One or two times this season it's gone off in the lead and stayed there. And they've not caused it. So I'm going to be careful about giving it too much of an easy lead. Nothing taking it on today. And Landlock, it is who's clear by. A good three lengths to Manic Monday and Dawn of the New Age, then Madeline Rose, and then Bottle Fact and Geraldo as they get over the water jump, which was number five. Over the six they go, and then also for you, Land Lock, the clear leader. Dawn of the New Age is second, Madeline Rose is third, and Manic Monday 4 Obsidian Shard is next, with Blackburn Steel who's made a good forward move from the back, that probably shows you how the pace isn't that hot, like you can be right out the back, just a couple of fences ago, and now we're right up there in fifth, and Geraldo is after that, Bucco on the outside is next, then Boomerang Amman, and then Q Garden take the long road, Pride of America Lintz has gone past a couple, Catherine the Great is the back marker, I'm over that next one as well, and heading on towards the next with Landlark. Setting the modest pace of mistake there by Blackburn Steel, the surprise gold cup winner this season. Not done a great deal since. They're trying to get back on the winning ways today as they get over the tenth. With Bucco making a more forward move around the outside. That's one of the horses who specialise at this distance, so could find out one or two of the Classier three and a quarter mile types if they're not totally up to their game. And we know he's a definite stayer. He won the Whitbread a couple of seasons ago, but it's Landlock in the lead from Manic Monday in second. Madeline Rose is third and Dora the New Age is fourth. Then comes Bucco fifth and Blackburn still a moral fact as they get over the twelfth and they're all still on their feet with Catherine the Great and Lynch, the back pair just about in shot at this point. So they're quite well strung out and Everything seems to be going well within itself. No distress signals coming out from anywhere. And one or two niggly little errors, but nothing major so far. Landlock continues to show the way to the Padraig Hogan pair, who are in second and third as they get over the 13th. And 
Dawn of the New Age is fourth, Blackburn still is fifth, Bocco is sixth, Obsidian Shard is next, and then Boomerang Amar and Geraldo and take the long road. Moral facts as they get over the 14th. Catherine the Great and Lintz still the back two. Both seemingly going well within themselves and no more than 20 lengths off the leader, who's now been joined. And Locke not got it all his own way anymore. Madeline Rose and Dawn of the New Age have caught to join him. Blackburn still is not too far away either. Manic Monday's just dropped back into the pack. Bucko on the outside as they take the water. And the Obsidian Shard making a forward move as well. But Landlark is still the leader. Madeline Rose is second. Dawn of the New Age is third as they take the next. Then Blackburn Steel and Booker. Then Manic Monday and Obsidian Shard. And Boomerang of Iron. Pride of America is after that one. Moral Fact is dropping back. Q Card yet to make a move on that one. Catherine the Great and Lynch are still the back two. And they're racing down towards the final mile in this now. And Landlock will pop this one in the lead. From Madeline Rose in second. Dawn of the New Age is third. Geraldo is now coming into it. Moves into fourth. Blackburn Steel is next. And then Bucco and Manic Monday. These are a couple of lengths clear. Obsidian Shard and Q Card and Boomerang and Minus. They take the 18th. Which they're all over safe with. Catherine the Great didn't jump in all that well at the back. Landlark still in front. From Madeline Rose in second. Landlark just been pushed along to keep up. The pace in the lead is still two lengths clear. Madeline Rose being pushed as well. In Dawn of the New Age, Geraldo is after that one. Manic Monday now coming right back into it as they take the 20th and they're all safely over that one with Catherine the Great now making a really good looking forward move around the outside suddenly come from last into the leading group and it's Landlark and Manic Monday over the 21st Landlark and Manic Monday here comes Blackburn Steel and Catherine the Great Pride of America has come from nowhere as well suddenly the whole complexion of the race changes Landlark drops away it's Manic Monday then in the lead now over the third last they go Manic Monday Catherine's a four there crashing four for Landlark it's Pride of America who's taking it up Pride of America Manic Monday Catherine the Great Blackburn Steel these four are clear of Dawn of the New Age and Madeline Rose nothing else can win I wouldn't have thought they're racing now towards the home turn they've still got two more fences to take and it's Manic Monday on the inside of Pride of America in second. Catherine a great back in third. Blackburn still fourth. Thorn of the New Age is next. Then Madeline Rose. Moral fact trying to run on mistake by Catherine a great. That's her chance gone. It's Manic Monday then. A full of an hour to go. Wonder jump. Manic Monday's getting tired. Here comes Blackburn still and Dawn of the New Age. Madeline Rose as well over the final fence they go. Manic Monday's in the lead. Here comes Dawn of the New Age. Dawn of the New Age is taking it up then inside the final furlong. It's Dawn of the New Age. Dawn of the New from Madeline Rose. Madeline Rose on the near side. He's beginning to get up now. And Madeline Rose is going to take him. Racing up towards the line is going to be Madeline Rose that wins the cross. Deep with Chester Perry from Dawn of the Age. Second, Manic Monday. Third, Blackburn Steel. Four, in Pride of America. Booker, Moral Fat, Lintz and Cucard. Geraldo was another one who went at the last. And maybe a bit of a surprise as Madeline Rose takes it. Looked like Joshua Sutherland's horse had come through to take the race. But it's a 1-3 for Padraig Hogan. And Madeline Rose the winner. Dawn of the New Age second for Joshua Sutherland. Manic Monday for Padraig Hogan third. Blackburn still back to his gold cup winning form in fourth for David Robertson. And Pride of America for Paul Rhodes was fifth.